Ladies and gentlemen, our ISK representatives for the evening are Nevada State Director Ralph Cook and President Corey Schaefer, scorekeeper Mark Smith, timekeeper cancer coach Chris Irwin, and our judges Kate Sider, Steve Steele, Dr. John Quinn, and Terry Hutchins. This main event is brought to you by Pink Spot Vapors. Stop smoking and start vaping. This is the main event of the evening, scheduled for three three-minute rounds, all for the Tough Enough Women's Featherweight Championship. Fight fans, it's about to go down. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with an MMA record of three wins and no losses. Fighting out of Team Rousey, Los Angeles, California. She is the supernova from Moldova. Marina Shafir. Her opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with an MMA record of three wins and one loss. Fighting out of Gladiator Academy, Topeka, Kansas. She is Tabitha Patterson. Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. All right, ladies, we've gone over the rules. I expect you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Ladies, this is a championship fight. Give us a championship effort. Any questions here? Questions here? Good luck. Here we go. Take a quick look at the tail of the tape there. You see Shafir three inches taller, three inch reach advantage as well. Three and oh for Shafir, three and one for Patterson. Shafir's pretty intense, huh? Just like uh, Ronda Rousey is. Absolutely. That trademark intensity. Shafir with the blue top there. Wow, <laughs> Patterson with the huge overhand right, looking to swarm from the start. You know, if she had a baseball in her hand, I think she would have thrown a 90 mile an hour fastball right there. Big right hands inside as Shafir tries to take control of the clinch. Pressed up against the cage there, Shafir. Looking to get this fight to the ground, I imagine. Well, it's a good spot for her right now, you know, especially with her background. She should be able to get this to the ground fairly quickly here. See Patterson trying to work in that cross face and keep distance. Nice balance there by Patterson. Shafir going to work against the fence. Could set up the standing arm triangle. There it is oh, right that's there. Nice. Patterson in a lot of trouble here. Looks like Shafir wants to get the choke and set it up even deeper on the ground. This fight is going to be over very right, soon. Get this. this fight is in tight, and she is up. out. Fight over Marita Shafir with the submission win. Incredible victory. It sure was, guys. I mean, she locked it up standing up, took her to the ground, and tightened it up even more. Dodge that vicious. huge overhand right. Ate a few punches in the clinch, still was able to set up that standing arm triangle. Took it to the floor to cinch it in even tighter, and that was that. It seems like on the way down, Tabitha might have injured her ribs as well. She's rolled on her side here, and the doctors are checking her out. Yeah, that, that slam came down with force. I wouldn't be surprised. Great work from Marina Shafir. Very powerful slam as they hit the floor. The doctors are tending to her, and obviously we hope for the best for uh, Tabitha Patterson. Again, don't forget to go to toughenough.com for more information on this fine organization. There is a planned return for January 24th here at the Mardi Gras Ballroom at the Orleans Hotel and Casino. Hopefully you all can join us live next time for one of these great shows. Yeah, Tabitha Patterson uh, back on her stool now. Like you said, guys, I think it was maybe a rib injury that they're looking at, but she's okay. With her medically cleared now, Shafir's corner is able to come in and celebrate. Impressive performance. Survived a little bit of early trouble and, and did what she's capable of doing. You know, it was funny because uh, with Patterson trying to use that cross face to create distance, it looked like you know, she could have maybe set things up, and I was about to say it was there for the taking, but she did a good job of pulling it away, but 
Shafir stayed with it, got the arm back in place, and got the impressive finish. Nice work from Rita Shafir. Let's take it up and get the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Tough Enough Women's Featherweight Championship belt is none other than Burt Meyer. After 59 seconds into the first round, your winner by tap out due to standing head arm choke and new Tough Enough Women's Featherweight Champion, the Supernova from Moldova, Marina Shafir. Let's hear it once again for Tabitha Patterson, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are again. Let's try to keep it PG for the kids here. Standing here with the champ, the new Tough Enough Women's Featherweight Champ. Last time we fought was in Mesquite. Not us, but last time we were in the cage was Mesquite. How great does it feel to win in Vegas? Pretty, pretty awesome. How stardom? Uh, no. <laughs> no. How's it being on TV? I guess it's kind of cool. My mom thinks it's kind of cool, so. Not too shabby. It's pretty cool. What was the game plan coming in, and uh, what, what did you think you had to work on in, in, in coming in here against Tabitha? Um, I was just trying to use what I've been practicing lately, and I've been hitting that head and arm and training a lot, and I wanted it. Like, I kind of forgot about my hands for a second. Just threw that big right, and I, like, slipped it. But she landed a couple, but I still got it. <laughs> it was a great fight, indeed. You want to thank anybody out here tonight? Yeah, I want to thank um, Rhonda. She's not here. She's training. She's not missing one day of training camp for this girl. She's going to murder Misha. Uh, Edmund, can't forget about my angel Edmund. And my whole corner here. And I want to thank my mom for giving birth to me. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Tough Enough Women's Featherweight Champion, the Supernova from Moldova, Marina Shafir.